Uh, buenas tardes, Nogalenses. We're starting right at 7, maybe for the first time. I literally just heard the bell. We've got a great show here <laughs> here for us. Um, and if you know you know what bell I'm talking about, it's the Sacred Heart Bell. Um, we're here with Eva Zuniga from Circles of Peace. You want to say hi real quick? Yes, so great to be here, guys. Okay, so we're going to we're going to we want to first thank all of our sponsors for the show who who make this possible and we're going to take a quick quick break um, to thank them. And we'll be right back with an incredible show, so don't forget to like it and don't forget to share it so that everybody can see it. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Cropper's Nogales Auto Center, your local dealer of Chevy, Buick, and GMC. The best place to find the newest, award-winning Chevy, Buick, and GMC models. But there's more. Cropper's also provides professional certified service, parts, and a full-service body shop and collision center. Come on over and see for yourself everything Cropper's has to offer. Located at 1831 North Grand Avenue, Nogales, Arizona. www.croppercare.com, 520-762-6446. Buenas tardes, Nogarenses. We're back here with Eva. How are you? Doing so great. Loving this weather. Thank you. Thank you for taking time out on Valentine's Day to, to be with us. I appreciate it's it. It's all right. My, I'm sure my chocolates are waiting for oh, me. Good, good. And the roses, right? <laughs> yeah, and the, and the roses. roses. And the roses, for sure. So first thing, I talk about the most important stuff first. And the first thing is my new jacket. It's, it's very important. It's impressive. It is impressive. Thank you. Now, the reason I had to buy a new jacket is because Santos, you know, the host of the show mm -hmm. on, on Wednesdays, he told me that I always look like I'm an undertaker, <laughs> like I work at Caroon's. <laughs> so I'm like, I got to do something different. Spice you know? it up. Spice it up. So I thought, you know what? What would look better than an old woman's couch? You know? And well, I say la llevan. And see, I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it looks good, right? It looks good. <laughs> looks right? great. I just, I just ripped apart. I think my nana actually had this right? exact yeah. tela on it's her good, couch. That, that pattern is perfect, right? Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. mantel, something like mantel. that. Mantel. Yeah, you know, or curtains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So I thought, you know, that'll look good. So I just cut up, you know, uh, 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 some curtains and I threw <laughs> it on me. <laughs> so um, a lot of important things happening today besides, of course, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all the lovers out there you and your significant others um but also it's statehood day for arizona yes. arizona is 107 years old today happy birthday happy birthday arizona it's a big it's a big year right yeah i mean 107 years old i mean how yeah, many yeah, people yes. get to see 107 that's true i'm hoping i'm hoping i'm working on it that jacket has seen 107 this jacket years has seen 107 yeah. years old so, for sure. you know for sure for sure definitely um at least at least maybe even 200 Maybe. You know, it might be as old as the United States. <laughs> I think actually George Washington might have had it. He you might know? have had it. I think I saw a picture of him. I saw it. it too. Yeah, for sure. Um, now, we had this idea, Edgardo and I, to do a contest for all of those watching 
um, where we're going to ask you questions about the state of Arizona. And then Ooh. Eva walked in with prizes. Yes. So do you want to talk about your prizes real yes, quick? Yes. So we're promoting the Nogales Bicycle Classic. And because cycling is all about love and friendship, which is exactly what Valentine's Day is about, we decided that we're going to give two, th two $14 passes um, to the Nogales Bicycle Classic. So that's awesome. a big discount. So I've got eight questions. And the first person okay. to answer five of them right. Wow. Okay. Okay. Five, they got to answer five of them okay. right. Um, will <laughs> win. One one fourteen dollar pass. One fourteen dollar pass. Yes. And second place will get the other one. The other one. Let's All do right. that. And third place will get a copy of my oldest book. Sorry, it's the reject <laughs> from um, from five years ago. Which actually I have something interesting story about that. Five years ago, I released the book um, "Conflict to Secure a Nation," and I have hundreds of copies at home. So you'll wow. get a copy of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've actually I, I realized this the other day. My first book came out in March eighteenth of two thousand fourteen. Yeah, my fifth book is coming out on March 2019, exactly five Whoa, years later. So full circle. Five books in five years. And wow. I didn't realize that until the other day that I... That That's I, incredible. I'd love to read one. Oh, well, you're going to have yeah. to get them. I don't yeah. have any copies with me, unfortunately. But yeah, but I, I, you have I, hundreds I, at home. So. I got hundreds Which at is home. Good. And, and that was only the first one. The second three, as I've talked about a lot on the show, are actually horror. I don't know how you feel about horror stories. A little bit horrified. A little bit horrified. Yeah, so... Horrified 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 yeah Fabian, that's good not a lot of people like horror yeah yeah yeah. but yeah, i'm but sure they're great and there are a lot of them have to do with nogales and the border and stuff yeah. like that so let's go with the questions let's do it shall we all right so coming up the first one who is the governor of arizona don't answer don't answer who is the governor of arizona this is question number one all right question number two who are our state senators I uh, know, I know. And listen, anybody can actually Google these answers, so it shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> so hopefully we get the answers. Um, what is the state flower? Do you know this one? Don't answer it, but do you know this one? I think I do. You think you do? I think I do. Okay. I thought I did too, and then I looked it up and I was wrong. Let's see if you can read what that says. Yes. You were right? Yes, you know that? Yeah. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So the state flower. First three questions, we're going to run through again. Who is the governor of Arizona? Who are our state senators and what is the state flower? Um, the next question, state bird. Now you got this one wrong because we, we okay. ran through it. What is the Arizona state bird? And then, of course, what is the Arizona state gemstone? Do you know this one? I, I knew this one a long time ago because my I dad taught it to me. You do? I think okay. I do. It, I, I you got it? You got yeah, it? Yeah, Good. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of Arizona. I was in fourth, it's fourth a, grade fairly recently. You it's know? a very two-back color. Yeah, it is. It's a very two-back color. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, we'll run through these questions again for those who are watching. The first question is, who is the Arizona state governor? Second is, who are the Arizona state senators? What is the Arizona state flower? What is the state bird? And what is the state gemstone? And of course, um, if you win, you will win an entry into the Nogales Bicycle Classic. For fourteen dollars. That's the first two two prizes, and then the third prize is my first book, Conflict to Secure a Nation. Of course, autographed. So actually, it might be the most valuable prize. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Monday. State flower. State governor. State flower. Senators. State flower, state bird, and state gemstone. Esos son los primeros cinco preguntas. Come on, guys. Click, click, click away. All right. So the next questions are, what is the state capital of Arizona? Now, this one should be easy, right? Because everybody should know this. We all know. We all it's know. It's Gila Bend. <laughs> <laughs> should be. It's Bisbee. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> uh, the, yeah. Um, what is the state capital of Arizona? What are the three top spoken languages? Now, this one actually threw me off a little bit. Hmm. Yeah. I might know it. You might know it? Right now, we'll run, we'll run it through. Okay. okay. We'll see. So, um, we already went through the first five questions. We just posted them in the comments. The next, the following question was, what is the state capital and what are the three top spoken languages in the state of Arizona? And then the final question is, what is the average household income? You want to give it a shot? Average household income around 52,000. Oh, man. No, well, man. 
She got it right. She got it right. So that kind of question doesn't count. So she do I get right. the book? You might. You <laughs> might. You might. You possibly, if you got third place, if nobody else answers, you get you get two inch. If nobody else answers, you get two entries into the into the Nogales High mm. School Classic and the book. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. All right. So um, real quick, we're going to run through the last questions again, which was, what is the state capital of Arizona? Um, what are the three top spoken languages and average household income? Edgardo, te los voy a pasar para que los pones en los comments. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to step in the news a little bit. All right. You ready to do some news? Let's some news? do it. All right. So we're going to talk about The Wire. Okay. Which we've talked a lot about on the show. I mean, I've written a lot about the subject when it comes. Man, I am looking at myself right now with that little cowlick I have in my hair. Right here, it's really bothering me. I, I, I can't see it. You can't see it? It's but right I'm kind of like beast guy, so maybe I'm, that's why yeah. I can't see it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to stand like this. Yeah, yeah. Maybe so that like makes it stand. worse. Maybe that might make it worse. We'll yeah. see. Right now, when the, when the video What if we just up, cut we'll it? See. Yeah, we'll just have to. Well, yeah, I'm just going to have to get some scissors. <laughs> Edgardo, tres tijeras. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, The Wire. It's, it's something that I've written about a lot um, for Latino Rebels. Um, I've talked a lot about here on the show. Uh, and yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time on it right now. If you want in, in to, to look into my coverage of the subject, you can go to latinorebels.com and just look up Joseph Paul Wright or Joe Wright. And it should come up or you go to my Twitter account, Joe Wright Writes. Uh, just the, all I'm going to give an update right now is that there has been no response on the state level except from um, Representative Grijalva, Senator Cinema, and um, the state representative for this district, Daniel Hernandez. And Gabaldon, um, Rosanna Gabaldon, she pledged her support for the mayor. The other cool thing that's that's kind of happened coming out of this is Tucson and Bisbee are following suit with a resolution to condemn the wire. I mean, they're not necessarily here on the border, but they're they're at least um, throwing their support behind Nogales. Um, okay, so another city thing that I want to talk about is: Do you live within the city limits? I do not. You do not. I neither do, not. do I. Unfortunately, <laughs> I used to. I used to live within Nogales. I so work within the city limits. There you go. And you guys have recycle bin outside your. We office? sure do. All right, as did I when I lived in Nogales, um, and I got to admit that sometimes I would throw trash in my recycle bin. I gotta admit that I always do that. Really, you know, and I shouldn't. You shouldn't. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I do, but it turns out the city is having. I mean, it doesn't turn out. Everybody already knows this. Yeah. The city has a problem with its recycle program, okay. and supposedly it's because there's not. I talked to the mayor just a, um, just right before the show actually about this subject, and he told me that it's because there's no market for the recyclables, which I kind of find hard to believe. So to do be honest, I. You know, um, but he says that the city has found a company that will take cardboard. And then somebody else who's actually going to recycle metal. And he'll actually yeah. pick it up from, it's not a city program, but he'll take the money, he'll take the product of the metal from the city and he'll actually go to your house and pick up any white goods like appliances oh. and stuff like that well, okay. to have them recycled. So that's cool, right? Yeah, as long that's as it doesn't end up in a landfill, it's, yeah. it's better. It's much better. Yeah. Correct. I thought so too. Okay, so um, ahora tu primo, no? <sighs> No what are you going to say about my primo? I'm going to talk about your primo, all right? So, Careful, no te metas con Sinaloa, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't know, um, you're from Sinaloa, I right? Mm -hmm. So, obviamente, eres pariente del Chapo. Of course, we all are. Oh, yeah. Of course, that's mm -hmm. what it is. Um, y como dijiste, ahí salió tu, tu pelionera. Yes. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> so I got to be really <laughs> careful yeah. because um, we don't want any violence on camera. No violence. But Chapo Guzman has been officially convicted on all 10 counts, all 10 counts on all 10 counts of drug smuggling conspiracy and i don't know what else it was but there was a lot it was a very long list it was a very long list and it was quite a crazy trial too i mean a lot of people came out of the woodwork with and exposed a lot about the sinaloa I cartel know. it was like a novela yeah right yeah. i right? was there for it it was, was like, like narcos it was like narcos it right there playing out in front of us wow it was deep. It was like yeah. narcos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Netflix is probably the next um, Netflix uh, series is yeah. for narcos, right? The for wife sure. makes an Instagram account. Nice time. Thousands of followers. Yep, yep for sure. Yeah, we Definitely. called it. Absolutely. <laughs> they should pay us for it. They should. They should pay us. Oh, somebody already answered one of the... One, um, Jezreel Di Suniga. <gasps> That's my husband! Your husband Yay! already announced... Uh, already answered one of them. All right, so we might have... We've got a candidate for a winner for... One of the entries into the bicycle Yay! classic. Yes, we're moving forward. We are. We're perfect. All right, so we covered Chapel. I mean, a lot of people are probably very, very happy about that. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming. I, I hope so. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> Chapel was I, I work in prevention, uh -huh. youth underage drinking and substance abuse prevention. So it's, it's definitely sets an example. Exactly. You know, for definitely. all the marcos out there. So you're just trying to make up for what your family's done. 
you know yeah yeah i'm just gonna <laughs> just for the record I, for the record there we're not saying that she's no, actually no, no. dragging yeah, to, the, to just, the cartels yeah. <laughs> yeah no no please um but chapel okay so yeah. he's, he's officially convicted we'll have to see how sentencing goes i'm sh- I, I imagine he'll probably cut some kind of deal you know i'm sure he not. will yeah he, I, I was hearing that he's gonna pay for some of the wall with his billions of really? dollars wow yeah 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 is that, that real is that something t- real ted cruz is calling for him to pay for some of the wall <laughs> so you know <laughs> wow that would be crazy that, that would, would be, be wild. insane that would be events. like a turn of events mm-hmm. definitely i'd have to come back just to talk about it you would yeah. definitely for sure for sure um 60th two back festival of the arts we had actually sent out a request for mm-hmm. photos and nobody responded that made me very sad. I'm sad. Yep. I was very, very sad about that. I'm very disappointed in you. <laughs> All of you. I'm not really. But um, I, I heard it was a great event. It was the 60th, 60 years of the Tubac Festival of the Arts. That's pretty wow. cool. Have you ever been? Oh, I have. It's it's, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. And people f- come from all over the world to see this. It's you know? packed down it's, there. It's yeah. really, really cool. I mean, the, sh- the county sheriff does security for it. And yeah, they do a great job. Yeah, they do a great job. It's really, really cool. So next year, for the 61st, you should go if you didn't make it. You know, if anybody yeah. else didn't make it. Um, I didn't make food. it this year. I didn't make it this year. Oh, man. You missed yeah. out on the food, yeah, the did. popcorn. Mm. I had a lot going on. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, which also it. reminds me, this this season, this flu season has been really bad to me. You know, I kind of have like an itch in my throat. I've had it for really? a couple weeks. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, thank goodness I don't have the flu now. But I actually got sick in December. And then I got sick again in January. And then two days ago, I got food poisoning. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm it's not contagious. What'd no, you eat? I, no, I, you know, me. I don't know exactly what it is. Hmm. There are probably like 10 things that I could list that maybe were it. <laughs> 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 not really, not 10, maybe two. So I've got it narrowed down to two things. Actually. Okay. And it, it's one of those, but it, it, man, you know, after you get sick where you're just sore. I'm right, yeah. I'm right there right now. Aww. And the worst part is I, I actually started this really intense workout, which is needed, um, <laughs> last week. So wow. I'm extra sore. Maybe that's why you got sick. Like your body was like, what like, are you no, doing to me? No, <laughs> don't do this to me. <laughs> and, and that's very possible. That actually ran through my mind. It's possible. So well, I'm glad the, you're feeling better. Thank you. I'm yeah. glad I'm feeling better too. Yeah. For Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's nice to be sick. Yeah, to yeah. be here and with you guys. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Oh, uh, and I actually I got a pretty good present for val- present for Valentine's Day. What'd you get? So do you know remember the cartoon? Is this air appropriate? This is air appropriate. Okay. This okay. is this is air appropriate. Okay. I was worried, okay. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> I mean, this part is, you know, they, you know there's there's still a lot of night left. <laughs> i don't know what that means okay, yeah, okay well, well let's leave it at that so the present that my wife got me is um do you remember the cartoon ren and stimpy from the 90s have you ever heard of no, it no i was born in 93 oh man it was yeah. ni- it was late 90s you mm-hmm. may have heard of it i watched oh. like pbs kids and that kind of thing educational yeah, this stuff. was Nic- this was late night nickelodeon this was okay the, this is the hardcore stuff no no yeah, yeah i was in bed by then yeah yeah okay so late night nickelodeon was ren and stimpy some of you watching may know what it is and they she found these little figurines of Rin and Stimpy wow. and she got them for me. Yeah. That's awesome. That is pretty awesome. That is probably Please tell me you just didn't get roses and chocolate. No, I did not. Okay, I got good. a roses and Red Bull. She's oh, a wow. Red Bull addict. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's my kind of girl. Yeah. And and they were very specific roses. They were these four um kind of they weren't they weren't purple they were kind of a pastel purplish oh beautiful which is her favorite like a lilac-ish color oh next to blue that's her favorite color and it was her mom's favorite color and her mom passed away a few years ago and yesterday was her mom's birthday so it kind of had a symbolic meaning well that's that's beautiful yeah yeah so all you out there just got chocolates yeah exactly (laughs) all those you got chocolates take some lessons from the man take some lessons from the man with the jacket exactly for the man with the rug (laughs) (laughs) i don't know rug Rug, couch, curtains. Yeah. Any of those. Upholstery. Upholstery of some sort. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, sure. you make it work. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. You're you know what I just realized it looks a lot like? My dad had this 1970s truck, like a Chevy, and the upholstery of it, it wasn't this color, it was more of a gray, but it was a very similar pattern. I think that's where my mind was going, yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, last thing is Laszlo Cantor, a uh, local artist. He has a sculpture <laughs> that he just put up um, downtown at Karen Park. Now, I, uh, I, 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 it resembled something to me. It's, it's a profile. And I don't want to. I don't want to influence what anybody looks. Anybody looks at it because I'm, I'm imagining it's something that can stand out differently to somebody else. Yeah. But the profile that I saw was a very specific profile. 
Um, so when you go down to Karen Park or when you look at the picture that we're about to put up, um, tell us what you see. Yeah. Tell us what you see. The other thing that I could also see, you know the director, Alfred, Alfred Hitchcock? Yes. Yes. He also looks, it looks a little bit like Alfred Hitchcock. Hmm. I'll have to go down and see for myself. You're going to have to go down and see for yeah. It might actually show up right here on the camera. And right, right here on the thing. Let's see. We've got some more answers, by the way. We've got Gerardo Reyes says that Phoenix is the capital. Your husband again says the cactus ran. He got there. Oh, okay. So we're actually, you know, we before we start the full whole interview, we're going to um, cut for another commercial break. Let's do it. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. I want to apologize to everyone. Um, obviously, there's a storm out here in Nogales right now, and it's messed with our signal a little bit. So we had to do this in two parts, but we are still here with Eva Zuniga from Circles of Peace, Circulos de Paz, para los que hablan español. No, 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 that's not like there's much of a difference. It's yeah, it's, a, it's the same. Circulos same de Paz, Circles of Peace. Yeah. Absolutely. And if, you, if, you, if you're an English speaker and you can't tell the, that they're actually the same words, it's kind of, <laughs> you know. Circulos de Paz, Circles of Peace, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Um, so we're back. S apologize for the, for the cut. Um, the full um, interview will be published on YouTube in its entirety awesome. without any breaks, but... While you're watching right now, go ahead and give us a like and a share again. So make sure that anybody who was watching the first one can will indeed be able to watch the second one as well. All right. So let's start actually getting down to business. Let's right? do it. We're a done. Lo que yep. Ah, uh, si es. We're <laughs> done with the monologue. Yeah. Now we're getting into. That was so into, much fun. It was fun. I love doing the monologue. I really yeah. do. You and do since we job. started doing the interactive thing with, uh, with my guest, it's really fun. Yeah. Um, but let's talk about you. <sighs> Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Your jacket is much nicer than mine. Thank you. It was a gift. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very, Valentine's Day gift? No, for, uh, no, one of my friends in Tucson. Oh, nice, nice, nice. It's a very nice gift. Thank you. All right, so let's. It does not look like upholstery from an old truck because it's not or a grandma's couch. Mm, yeah. 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 Actually, it looks more. If you're gonna go into upholstery, if we're still gonna stay on the subject of upholstery, mm -hmm. an '80s couch, the denim. You know, the there denim, was denim couches. There was denim in the '80s everywhere. Wow. Late '80s, early '90s. Que no, Ricardo, te acuerdas? Cuando todo estaba hecho de denim. denim. En los noventas. Yep. Oh, yeah. Wow. I, I yeah. So the, the decade you were born in uh -huh. was covered in denim. No. Don't yeah. tell me that. It's true. But it was acid wash denim. Yeah, so that's kind of a little bit cooler. Yeah, it more was grungy. More grungy. I mean, this was the decade of Kurt Cobain and, yeah. and stuff like that, you know. So. And like the shaggy rugs are from the 70s. Right? Shaggy rugs are from the 70s and I actually grew up with a shag rug. I didn't grow up in the 70s. I grew up in the 80s, 90s. Okay. All right, late, late <laughs> 80s. I'm not that old, people. I'm not that old. 32 is not old. I tell that. I tell myself that in the mirror every 32 day. 32 is not old. 32 is not old. I get with as tears. As you put on your, your jacket. As I put on my old man jacket. <laughs> yep. Um, so, anyway, enough joking around. Circles de Paz. Circles of Peace. Peace. Yes. Let's tell, tell me about what you guys do. Great. So, Circles of Peace um is a restorative justice based health agency here in Nogales, Arizona. Okay. We serve Santa Cruz County. We've been around since 2004. In 2004, uh, Judge Mary Helen Maley. Oh, Ma she's so Maynard. Cool. She actually married me and my wife. Awesome. She's yeah. married a lot of people. She has married a lot of people. And you know, the one time I was actually talking to her about it and <laughs> I, I, I mentioned to her, you know, um, you married me and my wife. And she got this look on her face like, oh no, <laughs> did you guys get divorced? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's so amazing. Yeah, she's so So cool. she, you know, it, it came... It was on her heart to just to start this agency that would um, initially treat um, domestic violence offenders so that they wouldn't reappear in the system, reappear in the system because she was um, seeing that frequently. So um, she came upon the restorative justice model. And um, since then, it's expanded to lots of different services, prevention services, um, family services. Uh, we have a woman support group now, which is amazing. We have pretrial services. So... It, it's amazing. It's really grown, very, and very cool. we do great stuff. Now we were actually just talking about the crime in here locally, mm -hmm. and there's not a lot. But no, 
But R- for relatively. the crime that we have, it, that's domestic violence per capita is pretty high. It is. And that's that's probably the highest crime that we have. I mean, we just had Sheriff Tony Estrada on us with us last week. And we were talking, we talked a little bit about domestic violence then. Sorry, I'm going to refresh this real that's quick. That's all right. Um, and it's, of what from what we have here in Santa Cruz County, um, that's the number one crime, pretty much. So do you guys see a lot of repeat offenders that, that you guys work on rehabil- rehabilitating? You know, the whole point of restorative justice is to not have that recidivism, to not have those people re-entering the system. So um, we've actually seen great results of people who come through our classes, come through the circle process, who don't re-offend. Um, of course, you know, there's those that will, but they, they get re-entered into the process, and the circle process is amazing, and we see great results. So Very, very yeah. cool. So... Um, I mean, how many cases per year do you guys handle? I mean, you know, I actually don't know, but we were doing some. If I have to do a, I, I'm not even going to guess, but it's uh-huh. it, it's enough to fill three circles a week with okay. about you know. 10 and we're people. and you're you're funded by grants, right? It's a we're non-profit we're that's we're, right. we're a nonprofit five hundred one c three. Um, we're funded by grants, state and federal. Okay. Um, we also have contracts with the courts okay, so cool. yeah we, we have and you guys work things. pretty well with um with the judges that are in oh yeah the judges love us awesome the of judges course, love sure circles do. yeah well you know one of the things that i that i was talking about when well that i i liked during the this last election um both um judge fink and judge um emilio vasquez were talking about that within their philosophy is that everybody deserves a second chance yeah. And that that's their 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 philosophy when it approach it comes to sentencing and yes, passing judgment, which on is people. amazing. Yeah, that's really cool because that's something that the criminal justice system in the United States lacks. Yeah, and the fact that you guys are out here believing in second chances yeah. is really really cool. And I think that's what makes Circle so special is that we're not like you're the bad guy and you need to you know do time. It's like of course. all right, let's how can we work together to restore this person to reintegrate them into society. Um, so that this doesn't happen again and so that the community as a whole is healed and restored. Now, do you want to yeah. talk about your process a little bit on how this works when you guys have a have somebody come through? Sure. So um, we work um, with court referred. Um, we have pretrial, substance abuse, and um, domestic violence in relation to the court. And so they come in, um, they're referred by the court, and um, and we also have a drug court program, okay. which is um, amazing. It's I, a, I, I think I feel almost... Like that was directed at me. Like when we you have said, a drug court we have, program. We have a drug court program. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's been at least three hours since I had any drugs. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Caffeine is a drug. You know that, right? That's true. So Caffeine is sugar. Is sugar. Oh, oh no, we're gonna have a lot of people. In Caffeine room. is definitely my drug of choice. Oh yeah, sure. I love coffee, mm. um, and sugar. Sugar's good too. And food. Sugar's and good tacos, too. actually. But this tacos, is not about me. Tacos are a drug. I don't care who, what, what anybody else says differently. Tacos are a drug. Tacos are a drug with the guac. And, okay, yeah, anyway, exactly. so yeah, let's go. the process, let's go. they come in through, they get referred, and they get set, they have an intake. Um, it's basically an interview to enter into services. Okay. And um, they're placed in, in, in a circle um, that best fits their needs, their language of choice, and um, obviously what they're sentenced for. And um, – they can be, domestic violence can be in there from 36 weeks to 52 weeks. And basically it's, they work with the person who's called a circle keeper, who is a behavioral health technician. So we actually have a license that from the state, it's not just, you know, kumbaya. We actually yeah. have licenses. Sounds, sounds cool. A circle, know, keeper. a circle keeper. Man. Yeah. So what, what's amazing about circles uh, in the traditional route is you come in, you're sentenced, you have, you know, treatment and you sit there and somebody talks to you and blah 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 and but the circle it makes all of us equal so this we literally sit in a circle nice. we have a talking piece and um we, we go through curriculums but in the model of a circle so no one is more than anybody else and everyone has the opportunity to speak and the privilege to listen and learn from everyone else very cool and there's it's no amazing. head of the table no there's no top of the pyramid it's a circle it's a circle. Very cool. Yeah. Circles of peace. It's amazing. It's Circles a peaceful of peace. circle. It's a peaceful circle. That's really, really cool. I mean, I mean, jokes aside, what you guys are doing is pretty amazing. Thank you so much. So, And I have to give a shout out to my girls, my Circles yes. Chicas. Do it, do it, do it. Come on. Blanca, uh, Sonia, Tere, Armida, Ana Karen, and Kati. You guys are amazing. And our board of directors. Of amazing. course. And, and uh, some of them were on with Santos. Yes. Um, about a year ago, I believe mm-hmm. they were on. The, yeah, uh, we were Santos on. Show. Uh-huh. Yep, for sure. And that was, that was a great episode. And then I interviewed Sonia and Tom McAlpin. Yeah. 
um, outside of the courthouse a few months ago too, and that was that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was. I, I don't know if I was a few months ago. It was still hot. I remember that it was still hot. I do remember it, that. Yeah, it was still <laughs> hot back then. So it was summer, maybe but we fall. No, it could have yeah. been like yesterday. It could have been yesterday. Yes, yeah, you never the know. Weather's kind of crazy. Um, let's jump into some of the other things you guys okay. do because you guys have an involvement in this upcoming Nogales High School Classic, yes. correct? Now tell me about your guys' involvement there. It's actually an event that we put on. Okay, yeah, cool. Have you guys, it's, been, it's the eighth year, right? Eighth year. And you guys have been doing it all eight years? All eight years. That's awesome. Um, from Circles of Peace. But we have amazing partners like Cero Estres, mm-hmm. um, the city of Nogales, NCD, um, law enforcement, obviously. Um, so the Nogales Bicycle Classic has been around for eight years. It's our eighth year. And uh, we get riders from all over the country. And that's so cool. Uh, inclusive from Mexico, Hermosillo, Guaymas. I've never been to Guaymas. I've heard it's cool. But okay. from all I've over. I've heard it so too. I've, I've yeah, yeah. I've heard Guaymas, the churros actually. are good there. I haven't heard that. But they're that, good at Costco I, too. But not, so, yeah, the churros know. are good. Co- you know, there's a debate about churros that I could get into. Mm. And it's actually, I've heard from some people tell me that Disneyland is the best churros. They're very good, but they're very expensive. I don't agree expensive. though. And I don't think they're the best. At least for what you pay for. No, they're not the best. And the ones from Food City are pretty good. I've never had them. Oh, they're good. They I might not be the best either. You'll have to send me out and Eva investigate. There you go. Eva best investigates. Churros. There you go. You have Eva to send me to Disneyland, though. Churros. Yeah, we're going to send you to Disneyland. <laughs> Edgardo will find it in the budget. <laughs> I'm, actually going to di- I'm actually going to Disneyland soon. You are. With our kids. So you're just going to have to do it. You're I'm just going to have to check that. So, anyways, back to Nogales Bicycle Classic. Back to Classic. Classic. We're getting and, distracted yeah. here with churros. I know. More drugs. More, yeah. Another drug, churros. So... It's an amazing event. Uh, we host riders from all over, like I said, and there are different lev- levels of, of, we have some professional, semi-professional, novices, beginners, youth. And what's amazing this year is that we've incorporated a new ride. So we have an 11-mile ride and the new 22-mile okay. ride, Whoa. 40, 60, and 87. And 11 mile is the beginner level, the right? The beginner. But I'm, I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm not there yet either. I'm not there yet. So, oh, And, and I, you know, I, I mean, obviously right now I'm not there. But <laughs> uh, when I used to ride a bike regularly, I don't think I was even there. No, yeah. yeah. I mean, these people are hardcore. Yeah. And they're crazy. training. They're you see them out there in, mm-hmm. in Rio Rico and they're riding. So th- they're really getting ready for this. And it's March 23rd. Um, it's always every single year the fourth Saturday of March. Okay. And um, registration is now open. It's going to be an amazing and event. And when is registration open until? It's open until ten minutes before the race. The ten ride. Ten minutes before the ride. Yeah. Okay. So it, it's open. It's been open since January first, and it's going to be open until the day of the awesome. event. And you'll get a number, and you'll you'll enter in whatever level you feel comfortable. Yes. So the in. twenty-two and up, um, the the four bigger rides, you do get a number and a timing chip so you actually um will be timed by a professional timer Very which is cool. amazing okay. the 11 mile ride since it's a little more beginner you kind of go at your own pace but um this is a very professional race I mean, it, so it's actually not a race no, we actually call it a ride a grand fondo which is a little different here let's pause it real quick edgardo are you bronca see si, i can see it okay go ahead so it, it's uh we, we don't call it a race because it's you know, there's not like the cash prize or not like that it's like a different level, but so it's a ride, okay. but it's, um, there are trophies, there are medal winners. Um, and this year we've actually added different categories for youth, different age categories. That's cool. So you'll be in the 51 plus okay. when you ride, <laughs> no, okay. but that jacket Whoa. will be 51 yeah. plus. This, this jacket will, uh, this jacket, as soon as I go, but you'll be left in the 32, yeah. you know, but there's different. So there's a lot of opportunities to get on the podium this year, which Very is awesome, cool. which came from our, our riders cyclist community. Um, cool. That they brought that up to us, like awesome. Edgardo and Cero Estres yeah. and Titanes. So, so, so you mentioned Cero Estres, yeah. you know, and we, we have to give an obligatory shout out to Cero Estres. They're amazing. Because they are amazing. I mean, it's and we don't just give them a shout out because Edgardo, uh, who's no, the president no. of Cero Estres, is, the, is our director and co-producer, but also because what they do is amazing. What they do. And is. they've been part of the cycling community in Nogales for... Since the beginning. Yeah, since the beginning, basically. They basically started the cycling community in Nogales. Um, I mentioned... Yeah. Santos. <laughs> behind the scenes! The, behind the scenes, Santos is poking in and bothering us. He <laughs> likes to do that often. Um, uh, hablando, de la, hablando de la chaqueta, ¿no? The reason I had to buy this old rug is because of Santos. <laughs> no, I like it. I like it. <laughs> so, um... Cero Estrés is amazing. They do some amazing things, you know? Uh, and... One of the, uh, you know, I mentioned that I was cycling before, and the reason I was cycling was because of Edgardo and Cero Estres. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, you know, I just 
got out of it, fell out of it. That's all right. You can get back in. I'm going to have to. I've Uh got a bike. I actually, um, I posted a picture of Facebook the other day of my new workout equipment, which is, it's real simple, but it's really intense. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a CrossFit workout that's, that I'm already feeling very much. That's why you got the fever. Yeah. (laughs) I have a cold. No, your, your body. Yeah. My body is telling me stop. (laughs) Um, and then a guy will ask me, what about the bike? So I have a bike. It's actually a pretty good bike. I think I saw you you were riding like this pink bike. (laughs) Oh yeah. Yeah, That's mine. I've got the, I've got the tassels on the side. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's mine. Yeah, definitely. (laughs) Training wheels. Yeah. yeah. Training wheels. I knew it. (laughs) No, but, but my bike, it's, it's, I have it covered so it doesn't get rusted. Okay. But it's off to the side. And the reason I'm I'm waiting is because you know once I lose some weight then I'll jump on it again and I won't feel like the wheels are like <laughs> that every time I jump on it. But my goal was actually to enter into this classic. You can. Well, I'm not gonna make it. There's no way. You know what's amazing about the Nogales Bicycle Classic is that uh, it's really safe. Okay. It's safe, so you could turn it right, Edgardo. Y- you know, if he's doing the 11 and he says, you know what, no lo voy a hacer. You can turn around and come back. It's, it's safe. We have patrol. We actually have law enforcement that's taking and coming back. So, so I can get a ride from the end, from the beginning, y- all the way to the end, and you win the whole get a thing. Ride. And win the whole thing? No, oh, I, I think I would know. Man, okay. I would know if you won the so, eighty-seven mile. So, ride. speaking of your personal involvement mm-hmm. in the um, in the classic mm-hmm. last year, you sang the national anthem. Oh Icon? my goodness! That's what Edgar told me. So, can you give us a preview of this of what? <coughs> Shh, quiet on the set. Jose, can you see? It, that's how I, it's going to start. It's going to how it's going to start. <laughs> I felt you know she said Jose, so I thought she yeah. was talking to me directly. No, no, no. No, okay. <laughs> so sorry. I felt I felt it was, You'll have you to know, show up. I will at have to the show start up. line and and um We'll see. see. We'll see. see. Yeah. In my tights. <laughs> no. In my fluorescent tights. We're okay. Just sure? normal's fine. Fluorescent tights isn't going to do it. No, I don't think so. There goes my chances. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> uh, you, um, 10 minutes until, how much does it cost to register? Okay. So the registration price is 66 bucks, which is a great compared to, you know, other rights. Yeah, of course. Um, so 66 bucks. Um, and beginning in March, it jumps to 76. So that's Whoa. the early bird pricing so right now. now. And if you get a team of eight or more, it's only 50 bucks per rider. Not bad Which is at amazing. All. And so if you answer these questions, it's only 14 bucks. There, yeah, there, that's true. Yeah. There you go. So if you answer the questions right, which a few people did, so we might have some winners, um, it's much cheaper, yeah. much, much cheaper. Um, and you can register at uh, www.nogalasbicycleclassic.org. Okay, so uh, we are going to have to wrap it up pretty All quick. All right, let's wrap it up. All right, so we're the, the signal is having some trouble, but we're going to wrap That's it up okay. real quick. Um, but we are going to do we are going to do an exclusive at the Bicycle Classic. Right. And it's going to be an incredible event. It is. We're going to have food trucks. It's going to be really, really fun. Food trucks. Mm-hmm. Sold. I'm, I'm there. there. Now, real quick, I just want to give one more shout out to Cerro Estres. You mentioned that if you join a team, that it is cheaper. Right, significantly and cheaper. And Cero Estres, are you guys accepting new members at the time, Edgardo? Yes, Cero Estres is accepting new members at the time. So if you join Cero Estres, mm-hmm. it's actually cheaper for you. Actually correct? cheaper, correct. All right, so you can help Cero Estres, which is a local nonprofit that that um, does a lot of good in the community. Right. And the money goes to Circles of Peace. Circles of Peace, and we do great work. Which so. does some incredible work Thank in the you community. So, much. so all around, if you participate in this, not only will it kill you, <laughs> but you'll be helping people. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. It won't kill you. It we, won't we, kill we you. We take the, the, the money first. Yeah, we'll take, we know take the money first. Don't come back. No. no, it's actually really, really good. Uh, cycling, I, 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 we've made a lot of jokes right now, but cycling does feel incredible. When I was cycling, I mean... I started doing it just for transportation, but I loved it so much that I would do three, aside from the transportation bike rides that I would do, I would do two or three a day just for fun. Wow. Yeah. It, and cycling is amazing. I love it. I love it. So we're, we're going we're gonna to cut off, and, but we're going to do an exclusive with you guys later. Okay. I, I, I apologize for the signal problems that we're having. I think we said we needed to say. Yeah, we did for sure. So, um, Okay, so yeah, so again, we're going to go over the questions that we had. They were in the comments of the first video. Um, and the prizes are, what's the first prize? Your signed book. No, that's third prize. Oh, that's third prize. Okay, the first two prizes are you get a $14 
registration entrance pass okay. to the Nogales Bicycle Classic. Awesome. And the third prize is a signed copy of Conflict to Secure a Nation, which is my first book, which is out of print, so you can't actually get it anywhere else. There's one copy I know of circulating online that I found out that I was told about. One copy for $3. You're famous. Uh <laughs> three bucks it, it could be zero you know it could be three bucks is be. three bucks well it used to be 20 it used to be 20 but the publisher went out of business that's all right because of fraud oh yeah I, i'm pretty sure that hence I got the jacket yep how exactly. far we have fallen exactly no, no exactly no. but you know what i feel like i rock this jacket you rock it i, I just want to borrow it yeah you should you should it might be a little big on you you have to get, take it it's in. the style though Ooh, it's this you know what speaking of the 80s all women were wearing big oversized. big jackets like this oversized yep. jackets with Huge shoulder pads. Yep. <laughs> you're you're right in style. There you go. All right, perfect. I just need uh, the back the time machine from Back to the Future. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right. So um, the questions were: Who is the governor of Arizona? Who are the senators from Arizona? What is the state flower? The state bird? The state gemstone? And Edgardo, you have the other questions with you. Oh, this they're in the comments. That's right. So the other question. <laughs> ah, ah, that piece of paper that they just handed me. Ah, here we go, here we go. Okay, so then the next question is, what is the state capital of Arizona? It should be the easiest one. Easy. Anybody from here learned it in fourth grade, mm -hmm. right? Um, what are the three, this is probably the hardest one, I would say, the three top spoken languages in, um, in Arizona. Now, the first two are actually easy. Which English and Spanish. Exactly. The third one is the one that's a little bit. I think I know it. And don't say it, though. Don't I won't. say it. Don't say it because we got to give people a chance. Okay. All right. And then um, the last question is what is the average household income? I saw a lot of comments, and from the comments that I saw, all of you were wrong. So. And I said the answer. You said the, and she said the answer. You got them wrong after she said the answer. <laughs> That's what's the most sad. It's pretty sad. But we love you anyway. Yeah. Um, we love no guys. Yeah. I mean, nobody loves me for my brains. It's all about my looks. It's all about. It's all about looks. the jacket. Yeah. It's all about the jacket. Um, so Beauty and the beast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm clearly the beast. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Uh, we were going to do an exclusive tomorrow with um, the Border Community Alliance, but I got an email from Alex from there that says that they've been really busy this week, and that won't happen. So we're going we're gonna to try to work out another exclusive. Maybe we'll do an exclusive with you guys tomorrow. That would be awesome. Because we got to do, we've, we've got this new show that we've been doing, which is the We Love No Gallus exclusives. And it's pretty cool because we do it on site. Last, oh, cool. year, last week we had the mayor, the week before that. ¿Qué fue la semana antes? Um, the food bank. The food bank, which was so cool. If you guys haven't seen that video, have you seen this video? I haven't. Okay, you've got to go back on our Facebook page and look at the, or on YouTube, and look at the video of the food bank. Okay. It's, it was, it was kind of an, a segment of El Gringo Más Mexicano meets Nogales exclusive blended together and it was just really cool. Awesome. It Sounds really like cool. fun. Yeah. And Edgardo, props to Edgardo on editing for that video because Edgardo. he did a great job on directing and editing that. So props to Edgardo. I also want to announce, there's something else I want to announce. Um, it's a new show that we're talking about. It's not going to happen probably till spring. Um, Edgardo and I were just talking about it and he's probably going to be mad at me for saying this since nothing's finalized, but it's called Nogalense. And we want to profile people from within the community. Now, I wanted the first person to be Edgardo. Perfect. I did. I did. He says I no. I love that idea. He says no. He is the. He is Nogales. Exactly, right? Yeah. He's perfect. Now, I, I understand why he said no, because we don't want to look like we're just... <gasps> Judge Maley She's would amazing. be perfect. Yeah. She's a perfect Nogalense. Um, so, Judge Maley, uh, you're, you're great, but Edgardo might need to be first. Might need to be. Might need to be. We'll see what happens. Judge Maley, you're amazing. If you want to do um, No Galense with us, we're down for it. But Edgardo, you have to do it. The whole public knows already. <laughs> they already know. He's like, quick, the internet, the internet. Mm, okay, so we got to go. We got to go. So thank you so much for coming out with us. Thank you so much for having I've us. I've already dragged it on too long, So, but uh, it right. was awesome. Thanks for having Circles of Peace no, on today. No, thank you. Thank you for doing what you guys do. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, so we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.
Cropper's Nogales Auto Center, your local dealer of Chevy, Buick, and GMC. The best place to find the newest, award-winning Chevy, Buick, and GMC models. But there's more. Cropper's also provides professional certified service, parts, and a full-service body shop and collision center. Come on over and see for yourself everything Cropper's has to offer. Located at 1831 North Grand Avenue, Nogales, Arizona. www.croppercare.com 520-762-6446